Afternoon world. Welcome to Sunday, 21st November. So it's probably going to be a shortish video today because I've already done most of my work down the yard, which was the same as I did yesterday. So you've already seen it. So before we start today off, just giving you an update on where we are with the granny flat. Uh, we are still on target to move my mother-in-law in here by Christmas Day. That was the promise. So yeah, we are kind of decorated-ish. Um, the kitchen, or kitchenette is currently all in boxes in there with the worktop upstairs and the wet room is drying basically this has all been tanked and sealed um, this was supposed to be a job that Dave was going to do Friday and yesterday but the plumbing supplier forgot to tell Dave that the tanking stuff whatever this is um, was in apparently that's 70 pound a bucket and there's two buckets there yeah uh, so basically this room is waterproofed for want of a better um, description um, it's waterproofed up to uh, a meter above the floor but up around the flower the shower there it's actually actually waterproofed right up to the top of the tape up there to the um, joiner tapes so yeah Next week we are looking at tiling that and maybe building a kitchen and Wiggy's back next week, weather permitting it's supposed to get cold and we're putting the render on the outside. So carpet man came yesterday. We're going to go with carpet tiles. Um, it was something that none of us, not Builder, not Julie, not myself, none of us have thought about but the remit to the uh, flooring guy was, I want something that is hard wearing, but easy to clean and or repair if there's a spillage or an accident or whatever else. Bearing in mind, this is built for a, an older person who's not sustained on her feet, so it can't have anything with a pile in it because she trips over her own shadow. Um, and it's something that if it gets damaged, we can repair it blah 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 and he basically said to me the flooring guy said to me you basically said tiles which is basically carpet in squares it does mean that if a piece gets damaged or burnt or whatever else it's easy to replace because it's just stuck down with spray glue um, but you can't fall over it and i think the pattern we've chosen you won't even see the joints not really so and that's going to go right through. We're going to do the whole lot. So, bedroom, lounge area, little diner thingy area, and the kitchen. We're going to do the whole lot because these tiles are like rubber backed, so they're stuck down, so they're kind of waterproof anyway. So yeah, it, it wasn't something we'd thought of, but when he told us the benefits of going that way for what we're trying to do, it kind of made sense. So. So there you go, um, we're still waiting for a piece of glass to go in that one window because, uh, well because it didn't arrive, um, but yeah, it's starting to look like a dwelling. Once the heating's on, the carpet's in and the furniture's in, I mean the floor's a bit cold right now because it's just, well that's it. I think she'd be very comfortable in here. Turn that back off. Right, we'll go down and check the kettle and then I reckon I went for the walk, the Sunday walk with the missus earlier and the grass is actually quite dry so I may just take the mower out and chop those leaves up. It's actually starting to get quite cold in there. Not sure what the temperature is but it's not warm enough to go without a coat. Good. 
definitely a bit of a nip in the air now. Wind has come round from the north. I mean, that's due north. And all those clouds are coming this way. Right, well, you'll have to take my word for it. They are moving slowly up there. That is coming from the north. It's cooler. Right, you guys are all happy. I think they're all pretty much settled in now. Um, they're still not overjoyed about being shut in, which I kind of get because they've been used to roaming about in the green stuff. But um, I get us through about a bale a day now, which is for 20 young stock, about right. Um, we won't give these any anything off really other than hay and silage, that's all they do. Dexters don't need a lot of input to make a half decent animal. They shouldn't really lose any condition over the um, winter months. I should be able to maintain sort of this sort of size and shape. Well, get a bit bigger perhaps. Um, but uh, yeah, the actual inputs in these guys are pretty low. So means they're not that expensive to keep. Right, you're all alright. Cows are all alright. They all had a fresh bale first thing this morning. They're chewing their way through that. I know that new calf is up because I saw her just now. So another new calf just stood in the corner down there. Or they led down in the corner down there. I could tag her now could but I'm not going to I'll do that tomorrow so she's not a very big girl so I reckon I can manage that you've got tags so I thought I had um, another calf I thought there was nine calves out here I was sure there was another one but I've actually only counted eight and that's the only one I can find without tags in hello darling she's not too sure are you? not really where's your mummy then hey that's not your mummy because that's a steer. I need to find mummy before I can tag calf really. Right then, let's go and chop some leaves.
that's it. Leaf free for another day until that last lot decides to come down. Um, I prefer chopping the leaves and leaving them down because it gives our worms something to chomp on for the winter months. They'll go on and drag these bits into the ground, which will feed the worms, and then later on, feed the grass and the trees. You guys can stay in there now. Uh, I'll give you some grub. That'll do for tonight. Go on, Goosey Goose. That's the last of today's essential jobs. Tick it off. No, it's all gone. They've had it all. In there. I know what you want. No good too much bread. Bung you up, and you. So I think I'll finish up this short one. Um, in the same vein as we started it with the granny flat. Um, this time next week, these walls should look a bit more like those walls once everything's rendered. And of course, when all well, that's done up right in the dormer window as well. And when that's done, the scaffold can come down. Once the scaffold can come down, I think we're going to try and render these walls as well. I'm not sure how he's going to get on with the um, scaffold there. But uh, yeah, and maybe cap these two. The eventual idea, um, when I've saved up headers and steel's not quite so expensive, and I want to put a railing around the top of that wall. I didn't want the wall too high because it'd take, that's north, it'd take too much light from these two windows. So I decided to keep the wall a bit lower. Of course, there's always a chance of somebody walking off of it, like a grandchild on a push bike or something. So yeah, we do want to put a, a steel railing around there. Um, we're going to ask Tim to come and look at that and see if he can do that for us. But yeah, another couple of weeks and this should actually all start to come together, blend in and look like a home. I hope. I think it will. I wouldn't mind living in there. <laughs>